Good Monday afternoon, NTV Chief Meteorologist Eddie Shear here. This is a quick weather update as to what we can expect for the rest of the day, tonight, and finally tomorrow, when the weather will begin to improve across much of Newfoundland. Rainfall warning is still in effect for much of the island, and that's because we are going to see rain through tonight. This will more than likely be scaled back from southwest to northeast later tonight and as we get into Tuesday morning. We're also talking about some snow in the higher elevations of the northern peninsula. Special weather statement in place because of that. Same thing for the Red Bay to Lanza Claire area and southeast Labrador. Some areas, not right on the coast, but higher elevations could see as much as 10 centimeters of snow by midnight tonight. It will be relatively wet snow, but that picture was taken on the island today at Conch by Marla Smith. You could see looking more wintry than fall-like there this afternoon. As far as what we have going on now, radar imagery showing lots of rain across the island, especially once we get to the west of Terra Nova and down toward the Kanaga region west of there. Very heavy rain uh, coming down at a pretty good clip, and this will continue as we get into this evening as there is still more rain down to the south and west, and radar imagery showing that light to moderate wet snow for parts of the northern peninsula this afternoon, mainly the higher elevations. Last 12 hours showing that rain streaming up from the Maritimes across the island. There is more to go, and it looks like we're not going to be all said and done with the rain until the middle part of the day tomorrow, but the heaviest rain will come in tonight, ending by early Tuesday morning. Rainfall amounts so far impressive. Burgio 148 millimeters has fallen there. Millertown 61, Badger 75. Future cast will take us through tonight showing area of low pressure working its way up from the south and west very slowly, which is predominantly why we're going to see such heavy rain as we head into tonight. Notice by midnight, oranges, reds, yellow showing up across south coast, interior, central, western Newfoundland on the Avalon. Just some light to moderate rain by then. By 3 o'clock in the morning, that's when the Avalon, we will see our heaviest rain. Northeast coast will see the heavy rain, but it's also beginning to taper off from the west coast eastward by tomorrow morning, but as we go through tomorrow, the low will begin to pull away, but on the back side of it, winds go northerly, and we will see onshore showers across the northeast coast, Bonavista Vista Peninsula, and the Avalon as we head through tomorrow. That will wind down tomorrow night. The other, the other thing is, it's going to turn very windy tomorrow and tonight on the back side of this low. As far as rainfall amounts go, highest amounts on the south coast, we're talking about 150 to 200 millimeters of rain. The farther north for central interior parts of the island, Gander, New West Valley, just west of Clarenville, including Terra Nova, we're talking about 100 to 150 millimeters of rain. Some localized flooding and some infrastructure problems from all this water could certainly be a realization. Wind warning in place for uh, Bay of Exploits, Burgio, Ramia, and uh, I'm not sure why it's not showing up for the Avalon North, Bonavista Peninsula, and uh, Bonavista North, but there is currently a wind warning in place there for winds tonight and tomorrow gusting close to 100. In timing these wind gusts out for you, they will begin to peak after midnight. As we go through the early morning hours of Tuesday, we see some very strong gusts. As we get into noon tomorrow, the strong winds do continue as well, but by afternoon tomorrow, the core of those highest wind speeds begin to move offshore, and the winds will begin to calm down, setting us up for a half-decent day on Wednesday. Have a great evening, stay safe, and tune into the news between 5.30 and 7 for your latest forecast.